questions are recorded, so sit properly. And turn on your videos. Where is Mohab? I, he was here just now. Yeah, he left. I don't know why. Okay, I'm sure he will be back now. All right, everyone, open page 87, learner's book. Learner's book, page 87. Open your notebook and write down, put today's date, 17 to 2021, and write down learner's book, page 87, question number three. Learner's book, page 87, question number three. Question number three. Three, yes. Learner's book, page 87, question number three. Who is this joining as guest? Mohab. Mohab, uh, I need to ask you something, my dear. Can you turn on your video, please? And the mic quick. The others listen to me. Mohab and Anis. Hala, you listen and Mohammed, you listen. Especially Mohab and Amin. They have submitted the homework in a way where I can actually do the marking. But Hala, you have attached, made an attachment. Yes or no, dear, for the homework? Hala, can you hear me? Listen, 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 you, listen to me, dear. You have made that as a Mohab, unmute yourself. You have made that as a PDF attachment, right? Me? No, no, Hala, Hala. Hala, you have made that as a sent me as a PDF attachment. Yes or no? I don't know. I, I and don't I know. cannot listen, listen, listen to Mohab what this follow the steps and do that right now. Because you know, Amin and Mohab, the way they have submitted, it is so good. I can actually do the right type out and do the corrections there. That is the way I want the homework. So that where whatever mistakes are made, I can actually do the checking, but I don't know the process. Mohab, can you tell me? Uh, Hala, go to, uh, Hala and Mohammed go to the steps quickly. Yes, sir, the screen like to, to let them see. Yes, please, yes, please, Mohab, that's wonderful. But just do the work. Remember, these sessions are recorded. Don't go here and there. Hala, can you see? Mohammed, can you see? Yeah. Okay, yes, Mohab, please. I got the assignment and then go to assignment then this is like no, today's this is one. Class, this is the classwork. Okay, show just show all right. Okay. I should open another one and then I could start. Just a second. Just show the steps. Quick, quick, we need to do the class. Hurry up, carry on with the class. Just a second, because it's not working. Okay, then go to the comprehension which you uh, saw as classwork. And but I don't submit, it's back, don't submit. And then I, it's it open. After this, you just like, Press this. Press what? Add text. Add text. Okay, you need to press add text. Okay, add text. Uh, write in English. Mohab. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, Mohab. And then what do you need to do? Just press. Just press out of the box, and then you could. You Where is out? Of add text. After add text, you type your name, and then. And then if you want to if you want to write another text, you have to press again add text. Good. And then you just save. Is it yes or no? Mm -hmm. say, say for example, now you want to submit. What do you do? Just a second. Just press save, yes? Yeah, I go here and press save. Okay, I mean you have also done it this way, right? I mean yes okay so hala please do it this way and submit because all you need to do is after you complete your work you just press save there directly clear because in that way 
when I'm checking their work, I am also adding text. I'm changing the pen color. Please do not use uh, red, except red, use whatever. I'm going to the color, uh, the red pen color. I'm choosing it red. I'm adding text and I'm doing the corrections on the paper and I'm also clicking save. So when, when I have sent it to after saving, Mohab and Amin got it back and they when they are opening, they can see the corrections, what I have done. Yes, Mohab, yes, Amin? Yes. Please do that way, Hala, okay? So resubmit because there I can do, because this PDF thing, even if I download, how do I do the corrections? Are you getting, Hala? Yes. Muhammad, you understood? Yes, yeah. you can do mark up because the same I do mark up until the... the, the um, Hala, Hala, I don't know that, my dear. This is the a lot easier version. Please do it, okay? Muhammad, you understood? So do you, and tomorrow is the deadline for the homework. Hala has only Muhammad and uh, Hanan, they are not here. All right, now let's move to 87, page 87, learner's book. Have you written in your notebook today's date? Yeah. yeah. Have you written learner's book, page 87, question number three? No, Ms. Because I was... Please write down, just write LB, LB is learner's book, page 87. Now I'm going to share my screen. Just a second, let me open the PowerPoint here. Let me share the screen now. Can you see? What? Yeah. Can you see the PowerPoint? Yeah. No. Okay. So I will read this passage. Look here, please. I will read this passage once more. And you will be answering these questions as I read in your notebook. So in your notebook, you will write 3A answer, 3B answer, 3C answer. Is that clear? Yeah. So while I'm reading, you also read in your mind and quickly answer 3A, B, and C. Uh, November 11, Senegal River. A, for, um, further up the river, we found... Wait, wait, wait. Hala, I'm just reading now from page 86. Open the book and you are right. You will have to answer these questions. Where is Nadia writing her diary? Why is she there? What are Nadia and her team looking at? How do you think Nadia feels about what she saw today? Okay, now let me read. Further up the river, we found three more females with nests and watched a second one do the same miraculous thing. That's a six nest in a 500 meter, 1500 meter area. Up at 4.30 a.m. to watch the Nile crocodiles. So difficult to make a start after the hot and dusty journey to the river last night and hardly any sleep, but so worth it. Just to see our first female Nile croc. It was about four meters long and she was guarding her, text, uh, her nest and carrying her young to the water. What a sight to see. She looked deadly, but behaved so gently. Back to camp at 6.30 p.m. to write up notes. We are recording the nesting areas and habits of the Nile croc so that we can reduce the number of crocodile attacks on local people in this area. These ladies protect their eggs very aggressively. At about 11 p.m., uh, we moved further up the river and spotted two more females. Between them, these crocs have probably laid about 100 eggs. And here we saw the most amazing thing. The first female took one of her eggs in her mouth, rolled it in her enormous jaw, and then very carefully cracked the egg open with her big jagged teeth. The little baby croc emerged completely unharmed. Now answer, where is Nadia writing her diary? Quick. Uh, at the Se Senegal River. So write down good. Let's discuss. Wh why is she there? To check the night and the uh, the crocodiles. Get why is Moham answering only? The passage is in front of everyone. I want everyone to respond, please. What are Nadia and her team looking for? Looking at, sorry, what are Nadia and her team looking at? Um, Hala? Yeah. Looking at the female crocodiles. 
and also you have to write in detail how hala tell me how do you think nadia feels about what she saw how does she feel mohammad can you tell me please she felt scared really scared i mean can you tell me okay copy down she was excited isn't it she said how sweet and so on so she is like say copy down in your notebook sari up okay miss quick quick Mohammad are you writing my dear Yes miss Okay attendance everyone is present except Hanan Done Very Mohammad double check dear check your spellings and I hope you are uh your handwriting is good right mohammad yeah i'm going to yeah, do this please double check the answers while others are still writing okay hala okay good but just double check those who have finished in <clears throat> meantime just read question number 4 just read question number 4 okay finished everyone no yes let's end the okay the other others who have finished they are saying check the words in blue in your okay forget about the dictionary part look at the passage in page 86 amin have you finished can you unmute yourself amin mohammad my dear turn on in the video please okay. Okay now Question number 4 look at the, see look at the book because in the powerpoint you won't be able to see the passage uh, the blue mar, uh, dots properly if you look at the book you will see sorry where are we yeah if you look at the book you will see that uh, some words are marked in blue yes or no yes yes hala Yes, hala. See, guarding, nest, young, deadly, 
spotted and unharmed, right? You can see that? Yes. Look at the passage in page 86. All right. So these are the answers of the of those words. Copy down in your notebook, please. Okay. Copy down in your notebook, please. Write down uh, the, after three. Write answer uh, four and write this down. What? In your notebook, you had written a uh, question number three, right, Moha? Yeah. Okay. Now, now I'll write four and copy down the meanings, please. These are the blue words highlighted in the text. Are you getting what I'm saying, class? Everybody understood? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. okay, just copy down the meanings in your notebooks and neatly. Hala understood, my dear? What's because there was no internet. Can you repeat? I will repeat. If you look at question number four, Hala, they are saying find out the meanings of the words which are in blue in the passage. So in the passage, you can see some words are written in blue, the six words. Can you see? They are written in blue, Hala. Now, these are the meanings of that, of those words. Copy down in your notebook. But in your notebook, you numbered it as question number four. Just now, you, you answered question number three, right, Hala? Yes. So now put question four and write, copy down the meanings. Yes, Mohammed, are you copying? Yes, in question num uh, number four, you just said check the words in blue in your dictionary. Yeah, in your dictionary, but you don't have dictionaries in front of you, so copy down the meanings. I have. These are the meanings of those blue words. Yes, I have. I have a dictionary. Okay, then if you want to find it out, find it out. If, if uh, you want to copy these, copy. Mm. Okay. Okay. Done. Nice done. Copied all? Yes. Everybody finished? Messi Rot, Rot recognize uh, recon, recognize wrong. What do you mean? You Rot uh, recognize wrong. Yeah, it's okay. If I write, you know, it's this. Uh, no, there's no nothing wrong with it. Oh, sorry, wait. There's nothing. It is that S and Z. Z. It's the British and the American. If I put Z, it will be okay. But Z is American and S is British. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. That is why it is coming like that. Certain things we need to ignore. Okay, everyone finish. Can I move to the next slide? No. no. Yes, yes. Hala, hurry up, please. We have a lot to catch up. Hala, let me move. Hala, done? No. Amin and Muhammad done? Yes. Okay. Amin and Muhammad, turn on your videos, dear, please. Again, your videos are off. Okay. Hala, which number are you? Two. Sorry? Two. You are writing nest now, Hala? Yeah. Okay, listen, listen. Let me move. Listen, dear. Let me move the slide for the time being, Hala. Miss, I'm uh, I'm I, I have just two more. Just a second. Okay, Hala. Yeah, in one minute, you. I will move the slide. Listen to me, dear. If if you don't finish in a minute, the PowerPoint is there in K12. Later on, you copy down because we need to move on with the lesson. Okay, Hala. Yeah. I'll just give you one more minute and then I will move. So don't tell me, Miss, I am not done. It's okay. You can copy it down later on from the PowerPoint.
Mitch, can I go to your bathroom? Who's that? Mm. Mohammed, if you can wait, wait for the lesson. Or, or go and quickly come back. Uh, okay. It's up to you. Quickly come back. Okay, quickly come back. And if you can wait, wait. Okay, now I'm going to move to the next slide. Uh, as I said, if you have not finished, it's fine. You can copy from the PowerPoint <coughs> later on. Now look into this one. Look at the use of English numbers, cardinal numbers and or, uh, ordinal numbers. You know what are cardinal and ordinal numbers, right? Yeah. Okay, cardinal, let's first watch this video. It will be even clearer. Then we have questions on this. Just a second. Let's watch this video on cardinal number and ordinal number. Aha, uh -huh, what's happening? I need to share my screen. Just wait, please. You can see the screen. You can see the video. Yeah. Yeah. Now just watch this. Just see. So this so when we write one, two, three, four, five like this in numbers, these are called cardinal numbers. Is that clear? Yeah. Class, why is only why am I hearing only Moha? Yes, yeah. Hello, Miss. I'm back. Okay. Miss, what is this? So when we write like this, this shows a, if I say he is the say, for example, if I say he came first in the race, so I'm showing his position or she came fourth in the race. So I'm showing her position in the race. So when we write uh, like this to show positions, then we act, then we actually uh, call this ordinal number. Clear? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, clear. So look at the chart. These are, look here, follow my arrow. These are the counting numbers. When you write the numbers, these are called cardinal numbers. But ordinal number is, when you when you write that word in, in actual words, when you spell it out and write down first, second, and this is the short form of Instead of writing F-I-R-S-T, we also write one and S-T like this. Instead of writing T-H-I-R-D, we write three and R-D. This is the both are obviously ordinal numbers, but this is the full form and this is the short form of, of ordinal number. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. yes.
So as soon as so as soon as we mention these numbers like this, it's cardinal, and when we write it like this in words, it becomes ordinal. Or instead of this, I could even write one st two uh, two nd. Yes or no? Understood? Yeah. yeah. So that's called cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Now I will share my screen again for the PowerPoint. Back to the PowerPoint. Just a second. All right, let me share again. You can see the PowerPoint now, right? Yeah. yeah. OK. Now look at question five, six and seven. So let's do this together. Use of English. Look at the use of English word and use cardinal or ordinal numbers to write questions or answer. How long dash? So I'm going to show you the first one. How long was the first Nile crocodile? Copy down the first one. How long was the first Nile crocodile? And the answer is given to you. It was about four meters long. Are you understanding how you have to do it? Yes. OK, so you will have to use depending. You will have to uh, depending on the question. You will have to use cardinal and ordinal number. So number two, how many crocs did they find? Sorry, we write in the book or in the notebook. No, no a book. This is only one or two words. How many crocs did they find up the river? They found out. See, they found out three more. Crocs. So write down three in the number. What did they see the second time? They saw another croc crack up. Open, crack open an egg. How many eggs did the crocs lay between them? They laid about 100 eggs. This 100 will be cardinal number. So this is your exact, these are your ex exact answers. Done question five? Yeah. Okay, don't copy down six, please. Everybody finished question five? Yeah. Okay, Hala, copy quickly. But don't, please don't copy six. And if you have finished five, look at six. Six is saying, look at Nadia's notes on the approximate length of the crocodiles she saw. What is the average length? Do you know how to find out average? Kind of. Average? If I give you four items and I ask you to find out the average, have you done that in math? Okay, I give four, so I think two and two. Yeah, two and two. Three point five meters. You know, in order to find out average, there is a math. So if you don't know, just write this down. And number seven is saying if there are six crocodile nests in a fifteen hundred meter area. There is, there is an average of one nest per how many meters? So the, there is an average on, of one nest is per 250 meters. If you haven't done average, you won't be able to do the math. So just write down. These questions are more math questions. Okay, when you finish doing this, close your learner's book, open activity book, Page 71. Okay. Finished copying. When you finish copying, please tell me.
Da. Okay, I can hear. Who's that, Muhammad? Dallas. Mohab finished? Yeah. Mohammed, you said you are done, right? Yeah. Amin? Amin yes, finished? Miss, I, miss, I should copy this all or only the bold? Only the bold, my dear. Only the bold. That's why I have written it in bold. Okay. Those who have finished, move to activity book, page 71. Hala, wait. Hala, Hala, you can copy down later. Let's move on with the class. Copy down later. All right. The PowerPoint will be there. After this, I have a class. After that, I'm going to upload the PowerPoint again. Now turn to page 71, everyone. Okay. Look, at you can see the screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay, follow this, uh, now focus here. The question says number two, read the blog again and complete the information. So I'm going to read it out for you, page 70, once more. As I read it to you, you will fill this up. One, two, three, four, there are four blanks. Clear? Clear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now I'm, re I'm reading, you, you check. What a good day. We got to the when we got to the wildlife park at 9:30 a.m. The first animals we saw from our coach was a group of lions, two males, three females, and a cub, which was only four months old. They looked very strong and powerful. Then at 11, we went to the or orangutan enclosure and watched feeding time. The orangutans are hilarious. Were hilarious. They came up close to us and one stole my water bottle. After lunchtime at Dash, we went to see the sea lion show. The sea lions are so clever and funny. They can understand instructions and do tricks. Next, we went to feed the elephants at Dash. That was fun. The elephants take the food with their trunks and then put it in their mouths. They look strange when you are close to them, but I think they are really interesting and so huge. Our teacher said that the biggest one was 2.5 meters high. 2.5 meters high and weighed about three tons. Then at Dash, we saw the bird of prey display. The birds were awesome. We saw falcons, owls, and a huge eagle. When it stretched its wing out, it had a wingspan of 1.5 meters. 1.5 meters. This is the second time I have been uh, to the to this wildlife park, and there's always something new to see. I love it. Done. Done. Everybody finished. Yes, I didn't understand the question. You have to fill this up, Hala. When 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 I read it out to you, you have to fill this up. The, the passage is also there in the text in the activity book. Look at page 70. You have to read that and fill this up. The boys, all of you have finished, yes or no? Yes. Everyone finished? Yeah. No. So Mohab, tell me the answer of the first one. Kalu, our oldest elephant measures how many meters from foot to shoulder? What? Tell me the answer of the first one. Yeah. This one, Kalu, our oldest elephant measures how many meters? Kalu, um... Just tell me the number here, follow. Look at the arrow, just tell me this place only. Where did you get four meters? You had to fill it up from the blank, right? Uh, from the passage, right? 2.5. Yes, so write down 2.5 meters here. Meters is right, written 
point five. Everybody got it correct? Yes, yes. Mama, tell me the second one. He also weighs dash tons. How many tons? Of pounds. Sorry? Tons of pounds. How many? What is the number? I mean, tell me the number here. Number two. He weighs no, about. Don't... Sorry? Three tons. I... Three tons. I mean, are you there? I mean, can yes. you see? Can you speak, please? Hala, this yes. one. Samson, our largest mountain eagle, has a wingspan of. I didn't do it because I didn't 1.5. 1.5 1. 5 meters. Now are you understanding, Hala? Yeah. Okay, 1.5 meters. And next one. Bobo, our newest lion cub, is just how many months old? Amin, have you done this? Can you tell me how many months old? Four. Oh, Very good. Excellent. So write down four here. Four months old. Done? Yeah. Your voice okay. is loud. Sorry, Mohab. Uh, sorry, Mohammed. Your voice is logging for me. Yes, okay, now, me. listen, we will do, there's not a lot of time left. We will do question number three tomorrow. It will take some time. Quickly look at question four. It says, ignore three for the time being, look into four. It says, use the number in brackets and write an ordinal and a cardinal number in the gaps. This is how you have to do. Look here. Fifth, okay. five. So look here. Fifth, five, two seconds. Okay, I understand it. Please. Do it. Almost done. Everybody finished? I finished. Finished. Check the yes. answers. Just focus on question number four. Check the answers. Okay. Everything is good. Everything correct, I mean? Yes. Excellent, my dear. Excellent. Yeah, me too. Very good. Excellent.